What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. Rebuilding the Carolina Panthers. Quick reminder, hit that like button down below. It really helps me out. Uh, so we have a run of divisional games here, an early slate of divisional battles this season. We've already done two. Uh, we are actually going to simulate this week against the Rams. We are going to take on those three divisional opponents that will do it for this episode. Uh, but this is a rarity. We actually have our full offensive playage and our fourth quarter playage still available to us. We're three and two, so it's been a pretty good season. Lawrence has been really solid. McCaffrey's been carrying the load, splitting up the target share with the wide receivers. Actually, almost a good thing to see Robbie Anderson taking a back seat to Samuel and DJ Moore because his contract is up. I don't see us paying him. And then on the defensive side of the ball, there's been some good here. Five sacks from Chris Jones, Etura Gross Matos, Derek Brown, two sacks. Three picks, of course, from our breakout rookie, Roger McCreary. Would love to get some more picks for him. Maybe look at a Pro Bowl type of season. Defensive rookie of the year, all that good stuff. But we are going to simulate this week and then take on those three divisional opponents. It is also the trade deadline next week. We could think about a trade. We'll see how this week goes. A win, 24 to 7. We did have a frustrated DJ Moore, and he pays dividends with a good week. Let's see how he did, how the rest of the teams did. Uh, that's going to be a total of 15 morale for DJ Moore. So we climbed to four and two. We're taking on the Saints uh, in two out of three weeks. They are first place in the division. Gross, Trevor Lawrence, some rookie blues this week. Two touchdowns, but four picks, just kind of putting it up for grabs. Maybe trying to appease DJ Moore a little bit too much. Christian McCaffrey, a good week, but there you go. DJ Moore, a good week. Robbie Anderson gets a little more involved. And then the defense really stepped up. What do we give up? Seven points uh, despite four turnovers this week? That is saying a lot of this defense. A bunch of half sacks, one pick for Jimmy Moreland coming in on like a dime package maybe. So we'll take the win. Would like it if Lawrence would play a little cleaner than that. But a good opportunity these next few weeks to clean that up a little bit. So let's do our upgrades. Let's talk about any trades here. We got a lot of upgrades this week. Shaq Thompson, he's gonna unlock an ability here. He gets unfakeable. It's a good one. Brian Burns. He's getting closer. Curtis Samuel, another upgrade. Thomas Hennigan. He could certainly see an increase in his role next season if we let Robbie Anderson go. And then Greg Little. So the problem with making any trades is usually at this point, if there's any sellers, it's gonna be teams looking for draft picks in the upcoming season, and we don't have many. We gave up a first and a second round pick to get Trevor Lawrence, which in turn kind of takes us out of the trade market. We're playing well. I don't think it's very realistic or reasonable to make any trades at this point. Let's take a look at our renegotiations, though. Robbie Anderson, kind of the big name here. The rest of these guys, it's actually not a bad year for re-signings at all. The one guy being Ian Thomas that we might want to lock up. I think, you know, he's playing okay this year. Uh, we can't do that quite yet. So let's hop in here against the Saints. We've got three divisional games to play. This will be a fun run here. Replay the moments, maximum of one full drive. I'm gonna keep skipping along here. The Saints with who knows at quarterback. We'll find out at some point. Red zone alert, get some points, let's do it. Seven nothing in the second quarter. Defense doing their part. Let's do our part here on offense. Man, if only we had a punter to put in at quarterback to do this left-handed handoff. Go Christian, go Christian. Zach Bond starting at linebacker this year for the Saints. There you go, Ian Thomas. Way to move the sticks. Similar concept here. Ooh, 
Ooh. Good patience, Lawrence. DJ Moore beating his man. All right, defense is playing well. We're driving. Red zone alert. Here we go. That'll take us to the two-minute warning. We don't need to score too quickly here. Don't want to give them a chance. It's a cover two. Looks like it. Ooh, they're shifting down. I don't know what that means. Now they get us on the disguised look. Gonna have to answer here. Oh man, come back to the ball more. Awful red zone trip there. The rookie woes continuing for Trevor Lawrence. But the defense is keeping us alive here. We get one full drive to play. We can still play within the two minute warning. Defense breaks. Let's uh, skip this moment. We're driving. Put it in. There we go. Looks like it's actually Justin Fields in there for the Saints. So they're going to score a touchdown. So we are going to play this here. And then to keep it balanced, if our defense comes away with a stop, I will play the final drive. We do got to kind of hurry up here, though. Lawrence has been really good outside of my mistake. Ah, oh, pressure gets right in there. Marcus Davenport. First down. Go, go, go. Come on, Lawrence. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's a two minute warning anyway, but if we got out of bounds, we would have gotten an extra stoppage of the clock. Gosh. Sideline awareness is such crap in this game. Christian McCaffrey's catching that thing in stride and getting 15 yards every time in real life. Robbie! Get out of bounds. Get us a little closer. Nice feed. Heard of Samuel. Well, it looks like our little red zone interception is gonna come back to bite us. I'm gonna see if our defense can come up with a stop here. We will watch, see what happens. Good stuff. Etor Gross Matos. Come on, D. No! Alvin Kamara bursts free and we're gonna lose. So just one costly mistake. These Saints are still nasty post Drew Brees. They take a what, two game lead, one and a half game lead in first place. They're gonna have to come to Carolina though in a week. Lawrence was good, just the one mistake. Justin Fields, fellow rookie, so a bit of a rookie rivalry in this division is developing here. Uh, just in their first start, a great battle between these two. Definitely a fun narrative there. Jeremy Chin gets an upgrade though. A lot of these guys right on the cusp of getting those abilities. We do pick up an injury this week. Demario Davis down with a broken wrist. That's going to hurt the defense. It's going to push Andre Smith into a starting role here. And it's also going to force um, Jermaine Carter to start there at outside linebacker. Now it should also be noted that Trevor Lawrence has unlocked his ability and it is Superstar X factor he needs to start playing like it but he gets high low dead eye a bit of a pocket passing sniper sort even though he does have some mobility to his game so we're four and three it's a rough loss but we are far from done we got two more division games here get us right back 
in the thick of things. And we have a breakout this week. Itor Gross Matos. Perhaps we should look at the uh, stats from last week here. Anderson's kind of heating up. Well, I don't really know what Gross Matos did. Oh, he had three tackles for a loss. There you go. That's where it came from. Two sacks for Derek Brown. So we'll be able to get our hands dirty on this one. It's going to be 15 snaps with Itor Gross Matos, and then we will do our Play the Moments minigame. Away we go. So we'll just be playing our first 15 snaps here with Gross Matos. Oh, get him! Oh, we were right there. Brian Burns stole our TFL. But that was all us on that one, blowing it up. This D-line's really growing up together. Oh, another run on second and long. Maybe that's why you're two and five, Atlanta. You got Matt Ryan and Julio Jones. You're running the ball up the middle on second and 11. All right, good stop, D. Actually dropping into coverage on this one, even though it's probably a run. Good D. Andre Smith getting in there. Oh, he's going to fight for it. A third of the way done. That's five plays down. Good D. Derek Brown. Oh, my God. What a stuff. Back to back three and outs. Come on, Trevor. Ah, we go three and out. Good D. Jack Thompson on new tight end Hayden Hurst. Former first round pick of the Baltimore Ravens. This is our eighth snap. Uh, I can't tell if we got a tackle there or not. I don't think we did. Well, Chris Jones, the rest of this D-line is kicking ass. We're just kind of hanging in there. We keep giving you all these short fields, Trevor. Do something with it. Good job. Okay, we get six snaps. Finally, they get a first down. Down to four snaps. We might be getting the breakout just by playing kick-ass defense. Good job. Shutting these guys down. Oh, get him. Oh, he gets rid of the ball. We're right there. Two more snaps. Give you that all day. Good drive. All right, one more snap here, and then it's on to play the moments. We've held them to 31 yards, so we can actually get this if we keep playing defense like this. Julio doing his thing. All right. Another good stop for the defense, and here we go. Two-minute drill. does not actually count as a full drive. I thought Curtis was going to beat that guy much more than he did. That was kind of disappointing, honestly. Third and five. Get a field. No, Samuel with the freaking fumbles again, dude. Why are you always fumbling? Oh my goodness, that is costly. Ouch. Well, we're going to play again. This is a different moment. 
Have plenty of time. All our timeouts. Thomas Hennigan is in there. Ooh, we got Schwartz in there too. The speed on the outside. Let's call that timeout. Nice, McCaffrey. Nice. Oh, he dropped it. Coverage has been pretty good out here. There you go, Carson. Oh, and he gets out of bounds. What a play. Not someone you normally expect to make plays like that, catch the ball out of the backfield, but that was beautiful. Nice throw, Lawrence. Getting those feet in. Ian Thomas, potentially looking for a new contract. Can we finish this drive? Ooh. Deion Jones stuck his hand up there. It's actually a pretty decent um, throw by Lawrence. He's trying to sneak it in there. It was a risky pass. There was a slim little hole in there. Might have gotten picked. Ian Thomas, get in. Oh, Ian, let's go. What a drive. Okay, that's two moments down. We get one full drive still because those were two minutes. Graham Gano is having a rough season. Defense is playing well, though. Uh, red zone. Yeah, let's let's play this. Let's seal the deal. Two-minute warning. Really just going to run it a few times here. We'll give Curtis Samuel a little redemption opportunity here on the jet sweep. All right, good job, big win. Way to bounce back, team. Nice clean game from Trevor Lawrence. McCaffrey was really busy today. Samuel actually got four rushing attempts in that game. DJ Moore was good, Ian Thomas. I think we, uh, I think we should extend him. He's not super expensive. We don't end up getting the stats required for Etor's Breakout, but let's see. I think he only needed to shut them down on the ground, and they only had 22 rushing yards. I think he's actually going to get that breakout, which actually makes a ton of sense that he's kind of the run defender. He had getting the breakout for three TFLs last week, only 22 rushing yards this week. But that's crazy. This D-line is really coming together. Kenny Robinson gets an upgrade here. Let's see if we got the breakout. There you go. I think that's fair, man. He was getting off blocks, creating pressure, either in the pass or um, against the run as well when we were using him. So he gets two and he goes up to superstar. I'm gonna do a little run defense and a little power rush. Keep him a really balanced player. Brian Burns being that speed rusher off the edge. He doesn't even get a run stop or a block shed for the run stop one. It's unfortunate. Up to 80 power moves. Okay, Kenny Robinson, we're gonna go zone. Yuck. Just three awareness? That's weak. Weak sauce. Regardless, a huge win. Can we negotiate Ian Thomas yet? We can. Three years, 11 million. I think three years, 15 million is more realistic. You're probably not gonna see a cheap resigning like that in the middle of uh, the season, especially when he's playing well. Um, but he's been pretty quiet. I think this is pretty fair here. It's good market value for a um, average tight end, I would say. On to New Orleans. The last game of this episode, a breakout player for DJ Moore. Lots of breakouts. These guys are just balling out. That's gonna give us a great chance here. So we're gonna play the first 15 snaps with DJ Moore, then do our play the moments. No two minute warning scenarios though, when we're combining them. 
Dante Jackson gets an upgrade. I'm gonna go zone. Ooh, that's a good one. Fields v. Lawrence, round two. Here we go, they go down and score a touchdown right away. Just don't fumble it, Curtis. That's two. Go get it more. Woo! There you go, DJ. You tell him, baby. Hell of a catch. Nice throw by Lawrence, too. Giving him a chance to go make a play. There it is. Great drive, DJ Moore, Trevor Lawrence doing their thing. Great drive. What was that, four plays? Here's the fifth. Let's get rid of it. Gosh, no one wanted to get open there. Oh, it is sit right there. <laughs> nice play. I really need to keep a tally next to me. That's, this is our seventh play, eighth play. We've got six pass attempts. We ran the ball out of bounds once and we ran it with McCaffrey once. So that's, this is our ninth play. Second and 10, looks like the blitz is on, but to uh, throw it off, Let's clear up DJ Moore here. Blitz is on, this should be easy. Saints got a Kella Weatherspoon out there, former 49er. Okay, good first quarter, it's a good football game. Here's our 10th snap. Moore's actually tired after half. We'll count it. Four more plays here. Let's make sure we double team. Freaking Cameron Jordan, please, guys. Oh, what a throw and catch. Curtis, this is DJ Moore's breakout. Not yours. That's actually a good look. I, I didn't know where to go with it, so I basically was just throwing a jump ball for... Thomas there. Two more plays. Moore is actually tired, so we're gonna sim a few snaps here. A couple of good throws. Let's see, can we get uh, one more touchdown for Moore? He's still not out there. All right, we're calling timeout. Make this last one count. Sit, sit, more sit. Oh, it's all right. I wanted him to sit put in the middle at the top there. Okay, so we are gonna have to go play key moments. It's probably gonna ask us to play. We could technically combine this. I think we actually should do that. It's a huge snap right here. Blitz is on, DJ Moore beats him. Yes! Way to roast him, Moore, let's go. Two touchdowns. We get two moments left. Defense needs help. Let's skip that. Two minute drill, get some points. Okay, let's do this. And then we'll still have a full drive to play in the second half. Oh, I don't know what happened there, but. Just absorbs the contact, I guess. Nice play. Let's use that timeout. I might give you an opportunity here more. Although it might be smarter to just go with an out route. Oh, might be for the best that you drop that. Good coverage there by 
Whoever 29 is. Hawkins, I think that's the Iowa rookie. Really good coverage. Samuel, what a catch. Let's go. Same play. We don't have time to change it. Oh, there's Cam Jordan. I think we got to just kick this, tie it up. Oh, did I miss it? God, I suck at kicking. It's because I bounce between all pro and all Madden. That's what. That's probably why it gets so screwed up. All right, well, that hurts. That's a critical mistake right there. Hopefully, we don't need those three points. We probably will. We do get a full drive. We're driving now. Go put it in. Yes, what a drive. Ooh, defense steps up. All right, let's go. Defense needs help. Let's skip this. I don't know what's happening. I should have slowed down. Defense needs help still. They're probably going to score. What we're going to do here is do that, and then we're going to play this drive. This is a massive, massive moment on this season. We have plenty of time. We do get to play overtime. Cam Jordan, just an issue. Oh, go more. Go more. Don't get caught. Just go straight. Straight line speed. Go, baby. Go. Woo. We scored a little fast, but <laughs> Moore is going to get his breakout. How's this defense want to hold up? Inside the two minute here, it's first and 10. A sack from Yitor Gross Matos continuing to break out. Let's slow it down and watch. This is huge. Get there, get there. Good job. Get there. Oh, he's short. Let's go, D. Jeremy Chin closes fast. 51 pass attempts today for Justin Fields. Come on, pass rush. Get in there. Oh, he's going to scramble for it all the way. Fumble. No. <laughs> oh, they're using their timeout after letting a little clock run. Oh, my goodness. This is too much. Come on, D. Make a play. Get him. Get him. Collapse. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Defense just watching Justin Fields go to work. So the... the Trevor Lawrence Justin Fields rivalry is now transferring from college in a world where they very well could have played yet again in the 2020 championship. Let's just say they did. And now into the NFC South. I mean, talk about a football story right there. We are going to keep watching this and see if Trevor Lawrence can put something together. We have all our timeouts. Go, Schwartz, go. That's not ideal. Should have just need it. All right, Lawrence, make something happen. Okay. We need to play down the field here. They're gonna just throw a Hail Mary. Oh. Wow, so like a combined 90 something pass attempts in this game. One last just for the lols. But it looks like Justin Fields is gonna get the initial laugh in this big rivalry. Just sending it. Almost came down with it, wouldn't have mattered anyway. Ah, <sighs> rough loss, we played great. Defense really let us down on that game winning drive from Fields, used his feet to really beat us. 
So the Saints, you know, I don't want to say lucking into Justin Fields post Drew Brees, but let's just say remaining the team to beat in this division. A loaded roster. We've been right there with them. What is that? Back-to-back three-point losses. DJ Moore is going to get his breakout, though. This team is up and coming. I am not worried. We might not win the division this year, but playoffs are still well in sight. We still have a full game of offensive playage, a full game of fourth quarter playage, and one more divisional game, I believe, against the Bucks at the back end of the season. So we'll crank all those out in next episode. Please do hit that like button down below. It really helps me out. Hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I am having fun playing it. Cheers as always, and we'll see you for the next one. Peace out.